Good day viewers! For today's video, we will talking about crab cycle. But first, let me give you an idea about the history of our topic for today. Did you know that Mr. Hans Adolf Krebs is a German chemist who discovered this cycle in year of 1937? Also, Mr. Krebs received the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1953 that contributes to the study of intermediary metabolism in the oxidative breakdown of carbohydrates. I'm sure that all of you are very excited to learn more about Krebs cycle. That's why this video is for you. Come on, let's continue to watch and learn. Crab cycle is also known as citric acid cycle or tricarboxylic acid or TCA cycle. Remember that it is the main source of energy for the cell. That is why it is an important part of the aerobic respiration. The acetylcholate formed from glycosis enters the curve cycle and undergoes further metabolism to generate important molecules for future use in ETC. If you are asking what is the main goal of curve cycle, it is to generate NADH and FADH2. Furthermore, Krebs Krab cycle lies in both the efficiency with which it captures energy released from nutrient molecules and stores it in a usable form. And in the raw materials, it provides for the biosynthesis of certain amino acids and of purines and pyrimidines. We are now going to discuss the steps of Krebs Krab cycle. But first, we're going to show the full Krebs Krab cycle diagram. The TCA cycle is usually described beginning with acetyl-CoA, follow the diagram clockwise in the direction of the arrows. The TCA cycle begins with an enzymatic aldol addition reaction to acetyl-coenzyme A to oxaloacetate forming citrate. Is the isomerization of citrate by a dehydration hydration sequence to yield 2R3S isocitrate. And the further enzymatic oxidation and the carboxylation gives 2 ketyl glutarate. After another enzymatic decarboxylation and oxidation, 2 ketyl glutarate is transformed into succinyl cholate. The hydrolysis of this metabolite to succinate is coupled to the phosphorylation of guanosine diphosphate or GDP to guanosine triphosphate or GTP. Enzymatic desaturation by flavin adenine dinucleotide or FAD dependent succinate dehydrogenase yields fumarate. After stereospecific hydration, fumarate catalyzed by fumarase is transformed to L malate. The last step of NAD-coupled oxidation of L-malate to oxaloacetate is catalyzed by malate dehydrogenase and closes the cycle. Before the Krebs cycle begins, a glucose molecule must be converted to acetyl-coenzyme A. This process yields two acetyl-coenzyme A molecules to be fed into the cycle. Thus, the cycle proceeds twice per original glucose, yielding twice the product shown. One TCA cycle, turn, yields into seven products, which are GTP, 3NADH, FADH2, which is converted to UQH2 in the presence of coenzyme Q or ubiquinone, 2 CO2 or carbon dioxide. In our video, we see the importance of the Krebs cycle lies in both the efficiency with which it captures energy released from nutrient molecules 
and store it in a usable form. As we end this video lesson, we hope that you've learned and gained some knowledge in our discussion for Krebs cycle. That's all for today. Thank you!